Hello and welcome to episode 13 of How to Code Games in BBC Basic. In this video we're going to take a look at how you construct a grid of cosmic invaders. So in the last video we were looking at the uh, proc setup game procedure which is what really starts up the whole game and uh, we obviously had a look at the info line, color setup, uh, display shields and display base which is over there. Uh, but we skipped over deliberately the invader setup and the display invaders procedures because uh, I wanted to spend a bit more time just understanding what these two procedures actually do. Um, they effectively govern the uh, setup and the display of the alien grid. That's the grid of cosmic invaders that you see on the screen moving from left to right. Um, now it's done in two separate procedures here uh, because the first of these is really just here to set up the invaders at the start of a level, whereas the display invaders procedure is one that actually gets invoked multiple times throughout the game. In fact, it gets invoked very, very many times. Um, and what we don't want to do is run the setup at the same time as the display, because what that would keep doing is resetting the invaders to um, a particular uh, state um, as of the start of a level, which is obviously not the idea, because that would invalidate any progress that the player has made in the level up to that point. So let's dive into invader setup first of all. And just see what's going on here. So it's a fairly short procedure as you can see uh, and it consists of a nested loop. Um, now the reason for having the nested loop is because what this loop is actually designed to do is set up the initial values of our space percentage dim array. Uh, as you'll remember from previous videos, a dim array is a way of constructing um, an array of values, uh, in this case a two-dimensional array, so the values are effectively like the grid that you see on the screen with rows and columns. So there are, um, as, you, as you will remember, there are these 0 to 7 um, values uh, across the dim array and then values 0 to 5 going down. And this corresponds to the grid of aliens. So if I bring up my BBEM here, just quickly run Cosmic Invaders, uh, you can see that we've got the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 across, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down. So that's what this is effectively referring to. And um, what, we, what we need to do is, as you, again, if you look at the Cosmic Invaders at the start of the game, there is an invader in every slot within that 7x5 grid. Um, and that's essentially what we, want, um, what we want to have at the start of a game. So... Um, that's what we do in the invader setup. We just set each value of the array, um, the seven across, five down, and everything in between, uh, to a value of true. So the reason it's a, a nested loop is obviously you need to populate all the values um, ac across from the uh, from the, the i percentage and all the values uh, down uh, for the j percentage. So you can think of those as uh, essentially x and y coordinates of the dim array, and it's essentially setting every value to a value of true. So that's what that is doing. Um, the, 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 the loop has been sort of basically written out into a single line here. Um, it's probably easier from a, from a sort of readability point of view if you were to um, break it out like this, because then what you could actually see is what's going on um, within the loops here. So my, my uh, nice BBC Basic for Windows editor here makes that a little bit clearer. Obviously, I've lost my line numbers by doing that, but you can essentially see that what's happening is you're, do, you're doing a sort of a master loop for all the values of i percentage and then within that um, a, a sort of sub loop for all the values of j percentage so that means for the o comma o coordinate i get a value of two and then the o comma one coordinate i get a value of true the o comma two o comma three o comma four o comma five all the way through to the to um, where j percentage equals five and then it'll go to the next value for i so then it'll be one comma zero one comma two one comma three etc uh, and that goes all the way through until every single value Value within that dim array has a value of true. Um, now it doesn't stop there, that's probably the most significant thing that it's doing, but the other thing that it needs to do is set up um, a few uh, additional variables for the start of the game. Uh, X percentage here, which, which we'll be seeing a lot of in the rest of the program, uh, this is the initial X coordinate starting position of the top left hand corner of the alien grid. Oh, I should say the top. I should, it's not really the top left hand corner because that's what you get in combination with y but it's essentially the um the left hand uh, sort of x position of the alien grid so again if i go back into cosmic invaders it's that position there uh, with the with the cyan invader that we're trying to set up um, so that every time you start the game it always starts from that position so that's 10 characters across if you like 
Um, likewise, we want the starting y percentage position, uh, and we get that here with the y percentage equals, but then this is a slightly more mysterious um, piece of code here. So it's not just giving it a, a number as it does here, uh, a magic number as that's sometimes referred to. Uh, what this is doing is it's just, it, it seems to be involving multiple uh, different values all going on at once. And because of the lack of spacing, um, that can be a little bit confusing. So if we break that out, what that's actually doing, actually I might put it like that because that's easier to read. So we're taking the value of start percentage. We are uh, performing a modulo four onto that. So essentially dividing that value by four and seeing what remains and then adding two. So if start percentage is zero, which it is at the very start of the overall game, because that's that start percentage is your level uh, indicator. So we, we saw that one being um, set in a previous procedure. Uh, it starts off as zero, and then for each subsequent level that you complete of Cosmic Invaders, it goes up by one. So if we imagine that it's zero to begin with, I'm going to bring up BBEM here just to show this in action. So let's come out of the game and just write zero mod four plus two. Uh, it might help if I printed the result, of course. <laughs> There you go. So that gives us a value of two. That's because if you try and divide zero by four, well, you can't technically divide zero by anything. But um, if you do, um, obviously you won't get any remainders. So then all you're doing is getting the plus two. Now, if you imagine you complete the first level, start uh, becomes one. And if you were to do that same calculation there, you would end up with a value of three and so on. If I was to do um, onto, the, onto the third level, which would be start percentage two, I'd get a value of four and so on. So what that's really doing is it's for each level that you complete, the grid of cosmic invaders will start one uh, character further down the screen. So that actually increases the difficulty because you've got less space between you and the invaders themselves. So yes, as I was saying before, that start position here is um, would in the first sort of level, that would be 10 comma um, and a position of two. And uh, if I was to complete the first level, obviously, it would then go 10 comma three. So it would be one level down and so on. Now, the interesting thing about um, that modulus calculation is that obviously once you actually reach the point of um, X, uh, sorry, start position being um, start percentage being four, you actually loop back to two again. So your, your Y value, your Y value would go back. If you were to get through to the fifth level, your Y value would actually go back to two. So technically, if you get through to the fifth level, the game becomes moderately easier again. Um, but there are a few other things that the, the program is doing, uh, including the number of bombs on the screen that still continue to make the difficulty uh, challenging. Um, so that's what, that's what we're doing here. And then the last uh, variable that's set is this left percentage equals true. All that's saying is that at the start of the game, uh, you want the cosmic invaders to be moving in a leftward direction. So from right to left. Um, obviously, when they get to the far side of the left-hand screen, left uh, percentage gets set to false because that indicates that they're now moving from left to right. Um, and then likewise, when it hits the right-hand side, left percentage goes back to true again to show that they're going from right to left. But it is from right to left uh, at the start of the game, as we know. Um, so if I run Cosmic again, just to validate that one, you can see they are moving leftwards. Um, so actually, if I was to let this move all the way across to the side of the screen here, and when they reach that position that they're in now, left would actually now be false because that indicates that they're moving to the other side of the screen. So uh, that's essentially all that we're doing with proc invader setup, but you can see why you would only want to call this once at the start of a level. Um, you wouldn't want to keep on invoking that procedure throughout uh, the level itself because you'd keep resetting uh, the fact that you know the player hasn't actually killed any aliens yet. So we're now going to go to the display invaders procedure, which is the other one that gets called by setup game. And this is the one that actually gets called multiple times throughout the game. So just breaking it down in terms of what it does, uh, the first thing it does is it plays a beep sound. That's the dub, dub, dub sound that you get as the aliens move across the screen. Uh, and it gets faster and faster uh, the more of the aliens that you shoot. But the overall purpose of Display Invaders is it's actually, as the procedure name suggests, is actually printing the aliens on the screen. So Invader Setup only set values of true or false within uh, the dim array space percentage, which is just saying, is there or is there not an alien in that position? But that's all it does. It doesn't actually put the alien on the screen. It just says, should there be an alien in that position or not? So this 
procedure is actually, if you like, printing the alien characters onto the screen. Before it gets to that stage, um, it does a little bit of funky maths here. Um, I personally think that this is slightly over-engineered. I think you could probably get away with m percentage equals x percentage mod 2, because all this is really doing is it's, all, it's, set, it's setting which of the two frames of the alien sprite should be displayed. So m percentage will only ever be a value of 0 or 1, um, and x percentage, as we know from Invader Setup, starts off with a, a value of 10. It would then um, go to 9, go to 8, go to 7, go to 6, until it got to the far left-hand side of the screen, and then it would start incrementing again from uh, 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. So it basically means that every time the aliens shift uh, one position left, um, the value of x will decrease, and every time the aliens shift from one position left to right, uh, x will increment. So your value of x is always going to be either an odd number or an even number, which means that if you were to apply a modulo 2 to it, you'd either get a 0 or a 1 for each, each time the aliens move. Um, and then obviously that 0 or 1 translates to the frame, the two frame possibilities of the Cosmic Invader itself. And that's what gives you the effect of the um, aliens being animated as they move from left to right and then from right to left. So that's all that's happening here. As I say, I think this is a little bit over engineered. It, it could probably have just been done with a, a simple X percentage mod 2. But this is the original uh, program itself. So that's just how the uh, programmer has chosen to do it here. Then we get into the meat of the procedure itself, uh, and this is a repeat loop that we have here. Now, I'm not going to look at proc key test just yet, but the main thing to call out at this point is that every time you want to essentially change the position of the aliens on the screen, as in paint their new position on the screen, uh, the first thing that you actually need to do is go into proc key test to check whether or not the player has moved their own base left or right or, or hit the fire key. The reason that you actually invoke it here as well as later on in the game is because you want the player's um, base to be able to move faster than the overall aliens themselves. If you didn't invoke proc key test here, you'd have to wait until the aliens had moved before you could check whether or not the player had moved. And actually you'd end up creating a game where it would never be possible for you to um, move ahead of where the aliens are. And that would make it quite an, an odd and slightly clunky game to play. So that's why proc key test is called here. But as I say, we'll look at the details of that in a future video. Uh, the next thing that happens is we get this value of um, J percentage being set here. Um, again, uh, we will probably look into the, the reasons why uh, J percentage is an important variable in a later video. All I'm trying to do here is give, a, a, give an idea of what's actually happening within the procedure overall. So within this repeat procedure, we're essentially just determining whether or not uh, we want to paint an invader on the screen um, based on its true or false value within the space percentage dim array. So all that's happening here is, is doing a simple if statement to say if the value at uh, i comma k, which is essentially the, the x comma y position within the grid. If that value is true, then call proc invader and proc invader um, actually just prints the alien. So if we go to proc invader, you can see here um, there's a series of uh, print tabs here that just basically tell you which, which invader to print based on what position within um, the grid we're in. As I say, we'll probably look at that one in a, in a future video, but essentially just treat that one for now as a procedure that is um, printing the uh, the alien based on uh, whether or not there's a true or a false in the space percentage dim array at that position. And if it is false, as it says here, so if true, then print an alien. And if not, uh, proc blank. And if we go to proc blank, that's a fairly simple one. The proc blank just prints a blank um, using the, um, the blank characters that we had at the top of the program. So that's essentially all that you're all that you're doing here is you're just saying right based on um, the space percentage value if it's true put an invader in there if it's false put a blank in there. Um, then the next thing that Display Invaders does is it checks whether or not there is a missile in flight. Now we haven't really looked at the missiles yet, but um, as you'll know from seeing the game being played briefly, uh, if a player has has hit the shift key to launch a missile. Um, that missile needs to be obviously animated, um, showing it going from the bottom of the screen to the top. So within Display Invaders, it actually jumps into the, the logic to check whether or not there's a missile in flight. And if there is, it calls proc move missile. Again, we'll look at that in a future video. And that just moves the missile one space um, uh, further north, if you like, from where it was previously. Um, finally, uh, you'll get a check to see whether or not mystery is, is, uh, is there or not. So the mystery is the flying 
saucer that you see sometimes flying across the top of the screen. So all this is doing is checking, is there a mystery, inv uh, mystery invader or mystery flying saucer in flight? If there is, move it. If there isn't, it uses this rather funky um, function here called RND or RAND or random. Uh, and essentially it's just saying, um, if there isn't a flying saucer there, then pull a run random number. And if that number equals one, uh, then launch uh, a flying saucer. So that kind of gives a certain degree of randomness. That's why the flying saucer doesn't come across the screen at regular intervals, because it's based on a, uh, a random number. Um, so all this is really doing is saying, if there is a flying, flying saucer there, move it. And if there isn't, um, maybe launch a new one, depending on what the value of this comes out as. Um, and then uh, really at the end, uh, we have a, a little bit of extra um, variable manipulation going on here. Um, probably the details of this are probably go beyond uh, the, the scope of this video because I want to do a, a, another episode specifically looking at say, these, these particular um, letter percentage variables because they're, they're very important. Um, and in BBC Basic, you get um, a whole set of them that you can play around with. Uh, and in this program, they're actually used for multiple different purposes. So without getting into the details of that now, just, just suffice to say that it does some variable setting um, based on um, what has happened in the game up to this point. And uh, the last one here is that there is a condition which could result in finish equals true. But again, uh, we're, we're, we will look at that in a future video. So overall, uh, we've looked at here both invader setup and display invaders. Um, the combination of the two controls the alien grid. Um, it controls whether or not there should be aliens on the screen, and if they if they if there should be aliens, it prints them, and if there sh if there shouldn't be, it puts a blank. And as you can already probably appreciate, um, this procedure gets invoked over and over again throughout the game because every time. Um, the game needs to check, first of all, whether or not to move the aliens. Uh, it needs to invoke display invaders to print them in their new position. And secondly, if you happen to have hit an invader with your missile, it again needs to re-invoke this procedure in order to um, effectively block out um, the alien that you've shot. So that's what uh, display invaders does. Um, it's, as I say, it's a significant procedure to the game. Uh, invaders set up more about setting up uh, a new level and display invaders very much about controlling the game as the game progresses. So I hope you found that uh, helpful and um, I hope you'll join me for the next episode in the series uh, when I take a closer look at some of these um, slightly mysterious looking variables to make sense of what all of them are doing um, and also to introduce the concept of debugging um, so that you can actually peep at these variables uh, whilst playing the game, because that really helps um, make sense of you know, what the variables are doing and what they control. So until the next time, goodbye.